Special thanks to EA Sports for allowing me to participate in this event. We're going to be talking about something that a lot of you guys are like, yo, bro, Jimai, this is really, really scary what's going on. What are your thoughts about it? As we see the Philly special right there, uh, Carson Wentz wide open, who just got a huge contract, so a lot of people are expecting a lot of things from him. Um, I'm going through some of the trick plays. I'm going to go ahead and break down some of the things that you guys have concern about. Uh, that juke move was kind of ill. I like that. That's more of a realistic juke move, to be honest. Um, but listen, this is what it's all about, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff that's going to be going on as far as the trick plays go. Because some of you guys are having nightmares about it, and you guys know what I'm here for. I'm here to be your alternate uh, Freddy Krueger. I'm going to, uh, you know, anti-Freddy. I'm going to kind of soothe you and make you guys understand. Now, when we take a look and we pause the Philly special, right? And you see that Carson Wentz is going out there to the flat. And then you see the way the defender kind of leaves him open. I'm going to go out and tell you guys this, right? I'm going to go out on a limb and just, just let you guys understand that. This play was designed to work for your viewing pleasure. Like, it's no way possible that if you put a guy in the flat, he's not going to play the flat on that defense, especially in the red zone. We all know the red zone is the most difficult place to do anything at. So I know there's a lot of concern about the way the defense is allowing stuff to go on, but you got to remember... These are clips that EA Sports uses to kind of display what's coming. This is very, very exciting for the developers to be able to formulate this kind of situation in a video game. So right now, if they were to have the guy playing excellent D, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, remember, um, in the Super Bowl against the Patriots, you know what I'm saying? When uh, it was actually done by Foles and he, he caught it and then obviously Tom Brady, don't, he got butterfingers, dog. Like, dude was wide open, bro, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Let, let's not talk about the GOAT, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, he did come back and, you know, get his other ring, ring and he's chilling right now. But listen, this is the biggest situation that you have to understand. If you wanted to defend this, obviously cover two would be my go-to right here. In the red zone, it's, it's always going to be ideal. Now, remember, with these trick plays, the reason that they're so scary is because... You, you're always gonna have to be on your toes. You can't just come out and like, you know what, bro? I'm, I'm playing man to man. Because to be honest with you, man to man, depending on what Carson Wentz's speed is, if you have a bum linebacker out there, he's gonna still beat him on that table route. Like he's gonna be open in the flat. You can't do anything about that if you come out running certain defenses. So I'm not telling you that this is gonna be easily defended. What I'm saying to you is, it's certain, if you know that somebody's coming out, and they wanna hit you with the Philly special just to like embarrass you, you know what I'm saying, showing you that you trash or whatever, you're gonna to have to play the right defense. Now look, remember, what is that, a running back that has the ball? Like bro, it's not a QB, so it's not like he's just gonna be deadly accurate trying to throw a dot, he don't got dead eye like Patrick Mahomes. You see what I'm saying guys? Like there's so many alternate, um, you know, things that can happen within this one play. Uh, other people are available to get the ball as well, but again, you have to remember He's a running back or whatever he is, wide receiver, whoever you put in that position. So they're not supposed to be that accurate. Now, for those of you guys that are asking about it in Ultimate Team, that's gonna be a different story. Because you gotta remember, LaDainian Tomlinson can throw the football. You know what I'm saying? There's certain, Walter Payton, like out of position, these guys can throw the football. So, you know, these are gonna be things that you have to worry about in Ultimate Team. But I'm just saying in general right now, as we're looking at regs, this right here is scary as, bro, this is scary, bro. Because they're in tight running these fake formations like I, I don't think I've ever seen this I've never seen this in um you know in Madden before with this type of fake play um you know the balls in the air right there they're doing all these tricks up on the tight with plays like this this kind of opens up the field and it makes it so that you know pretty much what, what's going to happen is this I always tell you guys right when you find a good defense you have to be able to stop everything out of that one defensive formation only if it's necessary do you ever get out of that formation and this is why you have to keep your opponent guessing. You can't come, because like, say say right now, in Madden 19, let's go back to Madden 19. If you had a guy that liked to run the ball a lot, one of the major things you could do is run 4-3 wide, right? 4-3 wide 9, and automatically the defense would just play out of their mind and they'll stop the run. That was something that we became accustomed to. Me, now, like, what I do is, I in the beginning of the year, I ran 4-3 over. The game was patched, I got out of it. I run 5-2. I've been running 5-2 for like the last couple months. I can stop everything out of 5-2. Now, sometimes you might get lucky and get a couple plays here and there, but I can stop everything out of 5-2 regardless. So maybe I'm blitzing eight, maybe I'm blitzing five. Like you don't know what I'm doing, so you gotta be able to counteract it. With this right here, this is something that will keep you guessing because remember, if you're doing a fake play like this, this can easily be a run. You see what I'm saying? Like this can easily be a run. Uh, obviously, uh, in, in this in this formation, it's so dangerous because depending on how they line up, most of the time we usually baseline. 
All right, so uh, when you when you base a line, sometimes you'll press, you wanna be down on the tight. Um, the, the corners will stay outside off the edge. So that'll kind of take away the way to run the sweep. If he didn't wanna run the sweep here, like, and give it to the running back. But remember, if you do that, you see the way your safeties are playing? Immediately underneath, that's open, dog. Like, you, you're not, that, that's the thing that I like about these trick plays. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You got to look and see and also remember the quarterback that you have. Now, obviously, with this, the game is designed for Patrick Mahomes to just be insane. So he's going to be able to make every single throw that's available to him. He got the dead eye. He got the accurate red zone dead eye. He got the no look pass. He got bazooka. He got all that stuff. So you have to be very, very aware of the personnel that you're going up against. But I want you to see on the left side with the zone coverage that's going on right there, that wide receiver is going to be in the middle. He's going to have an open space in that gap also. So it's it's not something to where, all right, all right, you know what, bro? It's not defendable. It's just that you can't take away everything. So you have to be able to figure out what's going on. And this makes it more difficult for you guys that play the same exact defense and don't do any adjustments. Like, if, say, say, for instance, you're one of those guys that come out and, you know, we all we always talk about these guys. They come out, stop, cover three, and lock you up, lock everything up, bro. Throw away the key, pick your moms up. They do everything, right? It won't work like that. Because if you're smart enough to come out and you have different versions of this play and all the trick plays that are in the game, they don't know what's going on. And remember, you can start off and play action in a regular play action, in the same situation, and it'll give you like the same animations with a lot of these plays. So, you you know, e either way, whatever it is, because if they're gonna be floating back like that, maybe they pass committed because you're in the tight formation. So, you know, a draw play, the run, so you take the sweep. So many different things. Also, we have to wait to see uh, the update on what they're talking about as far as um, when they come out playing specific defenses. Is it gonna be easier to pancake? Oh, that, that, bro, the new juke was gonna be so crazy. It's just, it's just gonna be so crazy. But that, those are the things that you have to kind of pay attention to because all the things that I just showed you, you don't have to hand that off. You can pass that ball. So guess what, bro? You come out running a wild blitz, like you sending everybody, the head coach, the team owner, your moms, bro, whoever you're sending, if you don't have the right thing going on right there, the pass is gonna be open. That just kind of keeps everything in balance. Now, again, I want to point this out as well. If you make the wrong decision, you are going to pay for it, which is a beautiful thing. If he's doing an all out blitz and you decide to run the sweep because you make a mistake, you're nervous, your palms get sweaty and you press the button and the dude hands it off and he gets smashed and it's a fumble and goes back for six. That was your choice because you got to make that read. That's what these plays are all about. So as much as you guys think that uh, a lot of the footage that you saw, oh bro, the defense is allowing this to happen, the defense is allowing this to happen. You can, you can believe whatever you want. For instance, right here in the top left on the scoreboard, you can see this is competitive mode, right? It, the one thing I could tell you is this, they've shown different variations of modes, some simulation, some competitive, some arcade. The one thing that you guys have to understand is this, these modes like competitive and simulation, yes, the players are more alert, but you can still do the same things. It's just a different timing, all right? So with arcade, they're gonna act a little bit more stupid. Oh, bro, what's going on? Are the balls being thrown out? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do with my hands. That's what the uh, actual uh, AI is gonna be saying. But listen, regardless of all of that stuff, it doesn't really matter. When you go to the other modes, they're just smarter. They're in the same position. They're just a little bit more smarter and they pay attention a little bit more. So you just have to take a little bit more time to make the same exact play. Now, this one I like a lot because the Rams love to do this. Have everybody go and it looks like a sweep, it's a run, whatever like that. And then it turns out, you know, it turns out to just be a regular dive up the field. This is gonna be one of the most popular plays. And if you have the right uh, personnel to do this, this right here can be really scary. Because the run game, in my opinion, I think is gonna be more dominant. Even with all the bazooka and all the other things that are, that are happening, I think the run game is gonna be really good because I've seen a lot of footage of, um, you know, the, the jukes, the spins and everything like that. They, they've really gone out of their way to make the players look a lot more like themselves, uh, a lot more realistic with the movements. I think the run game is gonna be absolutely OP. So ideally for me, I, I would find some of the best run, you, you know, the RPOs, and try to get those runs out of it to see the way they block. Because it doesn't matter that the defender's coming from the right side. This is a dive. And everybody, you see like the, uh, the guard in the center is double teamed on that player. You gotta make one guy miss. And we know Todd Gurley can do that. So those are the kind of things that you're gonna have to make, um, you know, that's what you're gonna have to really focus on. Not so much the fact that it looks like everything is being designed to make plays work, because that's just for early footage. You're gonna have to be the one to make those decisions right. 
And that's ultimately how you're going to win football games in Madden 20. I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, share the video, check back for more Madden 20. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time as Todd Gurley runs us up the middle. One love.